that's me again. I want to talk to you about uh, uh, winter time and how to overwinterize bees successfully. I tried this uh, experiment and it worked really well for me and I want to share it with you. Hopefully you guys will be able to use it and be just as happy as I was in my bees. Uh, now uh, here in, in our area in Carolinas the winters are kind of getting um, the temperature is never the same. It's re either really cold or really hot. A lot of times we'll have really cold nights and really warm days. So bees are getting kind of confused and they're getting stressed and they're getting hungry quick because they're getting really active in the daytime, coming back, uh, getting exhausted and tired and uh, running out of food and die a lot of times. Uh, usually you lose uh, 20 to 50 percent of my bees. Well, last year, last year I did really good, so I want to share it with you. Now, what I did, uh, a few things you you probably already have. This is a, a full body hive. Then you have a two gallon internal heater, uh, internal internal feeder. I'm sorry, for bees that I personally don't recommend for you to use, but I use it for the to keep my bees warm. I personally call it an, an internal heater for bees. Uh, what I did, I basically uh, got one of these feeders. I uh, cut out a piece of board like that to feed nice and tight uh, right on top of it. Uh, now it's very important to cut out. It's going to be it's okay if it's a little tight because uh, we want to make sure that uh, bees don't accidentally go in there and drown, or the water doesn't cause uh, mold to be built up in, inside of your hive. Now. Uh, what I also got, uh, what they call an aquarium heaters. It's either one of these or one of these guys. They are five to ten gallon heaters. They are very efficient because they have a thermostat built in in there and they don't overheat. They keep about 65 to 70 degrees. So bees will be very happy at that temperature. And uh, um, as an example, I'm going to use this one. Uh, but anyways, they're very efficient again and they keep that water uh, yeah, yeah, I put water in here. It's about, I put about a gallon and a half of water in there. Uh, make sure that uh, that, that feeder sits in that side uh, nice and it's not sticking out of the water. And that, that water will last there for about uh, four to five months. And then you keep it, try to close it really tight in there. You want, you want to drill a little groove on the side. That way the, the cord from the Heater would actually stay nice and snug in there. Let's see, let me try to put that thing in there right quick. There you go, nice and tight. Now you will see that the, it's expanding a little bit on the sides. All you do is just take a little rubber band and tighten it up in a couple of places that, that you could use hooks that are already in here. Um, that'll the bees on day turn will seal it up with a with wax and stuff and. Uh, they also seal this up and you just put it right here uh, inside of the box. You also want to drill a little groove right here so your lid would be covered snugly and you will put it right on top of the exist, exist, existing hive. Uh, your bees will be able to walk here and they will, uh, you know, and the food that you give them, patties or whatever, or fondant will stay soft and warm and bees will be able to consume it and uh, save that energy that they have to use uh, to stay warm. So uh, as you could see right here, I used it last year and the bees were really happy. They actually built a little honeycomb here that they were able to climb around and observe that heat and keep the queen nice, warm and happy. So uh, also I was going to show you a little uh, feeder. I'm not sure if any of you have seen it yet. It's a little guy like this uh, that we got from uh, eBay. I had to modify a little bit with a glue gun, but it's actually a very, very good uh, feeder that you could use at the entrance. And it feeds one of these little guys that you just screw in with a syrup or whatever you use. And you just put it at the entrance and it will keep them fed because the honey will be uh, and the food will be dripping out in there. That way bees won't have to come out outside and eat. They'll be able to consume all that syrup in here. Uh, now I don't recommend to use two liter bottle because it will get messy, it will spill all over the place. So the little drinking bottles like that are about perfect and this will last for about a week per hive. Um, 
So it's just something for you to uh, look at and think about. And it's very inexpensive, it's very efficient. And uh, I started with three hives and I end up with, with nine hives and I sold three of them and I end up with six. So I could report that not only did I not lose any bees, but I gained more bees. Those bees that were ready to go as soon as season was up and heavy. So anyways, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. We'll, we'll talk to you later. You have a wonderful day.